Crip Pad is a really cool tool I found from alternative2.net. Imagine Google Docs or Hackpad, except you don't need to log in. You don't need any type of login. All you need is the URL if you wanna share it with anyone to edit or view. That's where CryptPad comes in. As it says on this webpage, it is a zero knowledge, real time collaborative editor. The only thing you need is a URL and it helps if you have some understanding of Markdown, which is a markup language. For example, if you use Slack, Mattermost or GitHub, the extra characters you put in here and there to get bold italics and links, fun stuff like that. That is Markdown. You want bold, you put in a asterisk or two before and after. That is an example of using Markdown. And that's what this uses. Now there's a lot of cool stuff here to see. The main things that I would talk I would want you to look at when you get some time on this page is their Twitter account, uh, their GitHub, and their IRC channel. I already have a presentation that I made. They have a few other things. They have the natural notepad. What you see is what you get. They have a code pad, a poll pad, and what I'm gonna show you for a minute is the presentation. And what you see here, remember what I said, it's all you need is a URL. When you make it, it's stored in your browser, which means once you're done, you need to save it as a bookmark or copy and paste the URL somewhere because if you clear your cache, it's gone. It is it's pretty much gone. All right, that's why I'm saying it's stored only in your browser. So if you don't have a bookmark, once you create it, you don't have it stored anywhere, it's, you're, you're done. All right, so you see the type that I have and this will list all of them that are in your browser. So presentation or the pad, code pad, poll, uh, the link when it's created, last access, and an easy button to forget it and remove it. So I'm going to show you this presentation. Keep in mind on Google Docs, you have a slideshow, all these real cool things. You can make themes and all that. But let's add a name, Jim. Okay. So I am Jim right now, but keep in mind, I said I wanted to be anonymous because I told you you can be, so let's just get rid of it. And suddenly somebody somewhere is using this and editing this. If somebody were to look at this URL right now, they would see anonymous or nothing at all. You can see users, there's nothing here. You can see who's editing, who's here viewing, and those are separated by the URL. So I can share the edit URL, I can share the view URL, or I can simply click here and open the actual thing in a new pad. I'm not gonna do that yet. You see the language? They're working on expanding the languages. This is the theme for what we're looking at right now. So I can change this however I like. Cobalt, elegant, night, because I like it. Now, all of this good stuff right here, Simply put, this is all the writing I needed to do for a presentation. I have, let's see, what's the easiest way of doing this? Viewing a new tab. Let's move this over. All right. So this is the first page. This is what you're seeing. You see a title, you see some bold, and then you see a link. Over here, all I have is one pound sign, which says this is, this is a title. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, this is heading one. And the more hashtags you add, hashtags, pound signs, the more of these you add, the smaller it gets. So if I go here, here, I think it was header up, goes up to six. Yeah, so up to there. Real time editing and you can see it. So I'll put this back at H3 and just so you're 
wondering, this is break, which is from HTML, because Markdown, plenty of Markdown, uh, market language stuff comes from HTML. So you have the pound signs for which header, what header size is gonna be. This is for the link. Ignore the underlines. This is for giving it the italics. So if I wanted to get rid of that, be there. I'm gonna undo because I want my italics there. But you have the name, the text of the link, and then you have the link in parentheses. And to separate the pages, three dashes. Usually, I think in GitHub, that's that just creates a horizontal line. Yeah, in here, in presentation for CryptPad, it gives you the next slide. So same thing here. Here, this is giving me bold for for a title, and then underneath. Uh, let's see, what do I have that's different? I have. All right, I have a list. Let's go down. Did I miss one? Okay, yep. So this is the unordered list. Just one asterisk, whatever I want to put. I wanted to play around, so I decided to put strike through, which is two approximate characters. I don't know what that thing is actually called, but that's for strikeout. And I did the same thing on another page. So you got options. I believe you can also do a dash. Yeah, so a dash and an asterisk, they'll give you the same thing. If I wanted to, I could put, all right, that worked easily. That gives me an ordered list. I don't want that. So I'll leave this as looking inconsistent. Uh, this is really easy to use. Within just a couple minutes, I have a presentation over here and going over to the end, the last one, just two more links and questions, just a few breaks to pull it down. This is easy to use, it's really fun. Doesn't require someone creating another user account, worrying about some type of hacking, your credentials or anything. All you need is the URL. So, which means if you're looking at this right now, you can go to this URL and do whatever funny stuff you want to it at any time. So, moving on with that, this is the theme for what I'm looking at. If I want to change the way it looks, I could click here and the text will come up. Or the text color will come up. I got some, some settings disabled right now, so it's not going to show. But generally, a box will come up similar to similar to kind of how MS Paint does or hex code show uh, patterns do. They'll show you these options for all these preset colors, but then you can make your own with hex or RGBA. It does the same thing for the text color and the background color. Enter presentation mode simply brings me to what I just showed you. I can also forget, remove it from my homepage and browser. I can also import from a local file and export it. And if I export it, it exports as a, by default, a .md, which you can simply open up in a editor, a text editor, and see everything as is. I got bored, well, I got curious, and I pulled that md file and put it in a, a text editor called Remarkable. It's a really cool new up and coming text editor where you put your stuff in, you put your code in and it gives you a preview on the side and it showed it. It showed everything and the three dashes. I mean, the only difference was the three dashes turned into horizontal lines instead, but everything else worked just the same. Everything looked just the same. So I wanted to throw that out there. This is a really cool app. I suggest it to people all the time just to, so you have something different. So you're not always using Google because it's always good to know options. You now, like I said, I got these options down at the bottom. Well, that's for something else, antivirus comparators. But alternative2.net is where I found this. Uh, their IRC channel is really cool. They are really laid back. Their GitHub, 
account, you give them an issue, they'll really quick to work on it and work with you and try to understand. You go on the IRC, they're friendly and they're good people. I think they're, yeah, they're based out of France, .fr. Um, really cool to use. So after all of this, if you want to see something on your own, play it down with Markdown with or without CritPad. You can go to the GitHub guides for Markdown. They had a really decent, I think this is the best Markdown guide I've come across. You simply run down here the examples and you can see everything as is. You see the pre-formatted text and then you see down at the bottom, down under it, what exactly it turns into. Same thing for lists, images, which I didn't have in my presentation, uh, headers, See the H1, H3, this is a block quote, pre-formatted code, extras. These as of right now are not in CryptPad because as it says, this is a GitHub specific. So may have to wait a while, but that is really cool to be able to have task lists. That looks really cool. But CryptPad, Really cool, you get a chance, check it out, cryptpad.fr. Again, that's cryptpad.fr, a great anonymous collaborative text editor for use in lieu of Google Docs or Hackpad and maybe Etherpad as well.